is up guys today i'm going to be showing you some war thunder realistic battle gameplay of the mi-163 now this jet is completely stock i just got it not too long ago actually but honestly it's a pretty good plane if you know how to aim the third gun here when i first got the plane i was terrible like i used to hate it i could never get kills um i didn't know how to correctly use my throttle and uh use throttle cuts and then having to know to get high to glide back to base i didn't know that chat to like actually climb in this thing but um i watched a couple videos of on youtube of how to fly this thing and once i learned how to fly it my next problem was aiming the 30s on here now the 30s there is two of them placed right beside the um center of the plane which kind of gives a good um accuracy but they're 30 so they're going to kind of you know spray a little bit but um yeah i didn't know how to aim them and i used to always shoot behind the target i used to always miss i used to be like really close to the target and like just completely shoot out all of my ammo because you only get 100 and uh 20 rounds with this thing and for two 30s it's somewhat a lot but then it's not because of how fast they shoot so that's why you have to really be conservative, shoot at only what you can hit. But after I learned, like, I used to go in, into matches uh, and, you know, I used to ask people, how do I aim these 30s? And one guy said, lead a lot. So after doing that, I really got better with them. Like, one match I put up four kills, almost had an ace, but a B-57 decided to kill itself. So, A, you can't get mad at that. But, um... Some tips on this plane is to really, really climb. This plane was meant to intercept bombers. So, as you can see here, this B-57, I was about to, you know, try to desecrate. Now, I know that they can be fast, or they are fast. So, that's why I try to, you know, go ahead and get a head start on them. But, once these 30s hit you, they hit you. Now, sometimes they may spark because, you know, they spark with me. But... Most of the time, I would just club a plane wings off. Uh, one plane that I really like shooting down in this um, jet is F2Hs. They, I don't know why they try to turn fight with you. Because you're like the UFO of jets. Because you can turn hella fast. So, this B-57 tried to outrun me. But I wasn't having that. And one thing about this jet is... I really don't know the rip speed of it yet, so I really don't like try to put it into sharp turns while going above 700. But as you can see, I was hawking in this B-57. Now, the 30s, I was being real conservative. I only squeeze the trigger like once every time I, you know, think I have the um, shot. But I got really, really, really close to him after he pulled this maneuver right here, and I just let loose. I got the crit, I think I hit his elevators, but it says his left wing was damaged, but he wasn't even pulling up after that. So, to make sure the MiG didn't steal my kill, I was about to go in and re-engage, but I realized that he wasn't pulling up, so that's one kill. So after that, I see when you have most targets low in this thing, it will be really, really, really good to turn fight. But the thing about the new CC3 is the fuel so as you can see I only have two minutes and like 44 seconds of fuel, uh, fuel left so you have to like really get high to make sure that once you actually run out you can have the altitude to glide back the base now this thing can really 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 glide like this thing is like a it's like a kite in the wind it will stay up there as long as it has altitude and as long as it you know has a decent amount of speed um you can be 17 kilometers away from base and be above like 3,000 4,000 meters and can glide safely back to base but one of the bad things about being able to glide back to base is the fact that you are a slow moving target and if you maneuver you kind of you kind of kill your chances of making it back to base if you don't have the right altitude like me i was gliding back to base once and you know the hunter is a really really fast and he just came and shot me 
But then again, I wasn't paying attention because I was so happy that I got my first kill in this jet. But one thing about this jet that you should really start doing is throttle cuts. Throttle cuts, back in the actual war, this plane couldn't cut throttle like that or else it would just explode. But on here, they added it. I don't know why. I think they just like, you know, tried to help pilots fly this plane or whatever. But back in the real war, no, it cannot cut the throttle all the way to 0%. Or, but on here, it's really useful. Like, me, I only use throttle when I have to. Like this, I was trying to hurry up and rush in and get a kill. Now, in this jet, I really fear F2 Sabres. Like, I know everybody should fear them, but F2 Sabres are hella fast. And they can turn almost as fast as me, but then again, they can't. So, as you can see, I kept my eyes on the F2 Sabre, but then soon I seen the F2H pop up. That was my immediate target. It was either the F2H or the Meteor. Because the Meteor, the Meteor is an okay jet, you know. If put into the right hands, it can really dominate the battlefield. But most of the times, Meteors really aren't as fast as a jet as you would think. Like, say for example, the Sabre. The Sabre can top a thousand kilometers an hour. A Meteor, I've seen somebody top, what, 800 and say that they ripped their wings. But I went for the F2H. And yet again, he tried to turn fight. So as you can see, leading the 30 is going to be really, really difficult. Especially when you're trying to line up with a target. So he was actually helping me out by turning. And with these things, you have to lead a hell of a lot. So I'll have 74 bullets left, trying to be really conservative. And we got a hit. So I was like, uh, how do you get a hit with 30s? But I kept going. Two bullets blew off his entire right wing. So after that, I started climbing because I don't even, I can't tell how much, is it 14, 23, I, I don't know. But I was really low on fuel and I had the meteor coming after me. So I had to evade while on low fuel. So right here, I was in a bit of trouble. So I'm like, God, just please leave me alone and let me get back to the base. Then the F2 came and tried to get me. So I only had 10 seconds of fuel left. So I had to try to get as high as I can in order to glide back to base. And Lord knows base, base was far, is it like, base was far away. Like, I don't even think I was going to be able to make it. So I think I ran out of fuel. Yeah, right there. I ran out of fuel and I was having to glide all the way back to the green circle. Which has been at, I think, a thousand meters, dude. I think so. But I wasn't going to make it. I was not going to make it back to base, regardless of what. But I did put up two kills, and I wasn't top of the team. So, I, they was chasing somebody, and there was that plane and a B-57 alive, I think. And they shot down the F-86, and then there was a B-57 that was about to bomb our base. No, no, I am talking uh, over my gameplay because this was pre-recorded, and I didn't get to actually... Um, Put it out to like I think four or three days later, but yeah, uh, I got really lucky this match because the B-57 was about to bomb the base a bit sooner, I think, and then he was shot down by our triple A's. But a couple more tips on this plane is try not to shoot out all of your ammo at one target. Uh, if you're gonna shoot at a target, don't squeeze the trigger. Like just pull it just once. 230s could kill a plane and no my plane is stopped and I blew off an entire right wing of the F2H uh, something else get high of course use throttle cuts if you don't need it if you don't need to you know engage a target just glide until you see an enemy uh, what else can I tell you um landing this thing landing this plane is fairly easy but then again it could be challenging at the same time uh, try not to be going over 360 kilometers an hour or you will rip off the back The tail of this plane. I did it before uh, try to go at least me. I try to go Below 300 or at least 250 on this thing when you land it this thing will slow itself down Fast like it would just stop right then. Well, not right then But you know it is stop pretty faster than most jets would but um something else that I think 
Gajin should fix is the fact that uh, when you land it and you know it kind of tilts over because it doesn't have wheels but when you land it and it tilts over the wing just somehow rips off without the plane not even moving but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video for more content like this this is my video of the Mimo 63 hope you guys enjoyed it other than that peace out